This video is sponsored by Squarespace, your one-stop shop for creating and managing your own online brand. But more about that later in the video. everybody glad you could make it my name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to today's video it has been a long long time since you guys have seen inside this room I appreciate it I've tried to film this I think a few months back basically it didn't pan out due to technical issues so I've kind of just left it I haven't done a whole lot with this room if I'm honest and of course you will see this in depth that's my shop through there at the back as you can see, a lot of stuff is still the way it was. For example, that Gloriosum in the corner has somewhat declined since I last showed you it. But generally speaking, I want to show you the state of affairs in this room. So we have these shelves over here. We have a plant there. If I just rotate around the room, you have my shop through there. You have some plants in the corner. And if you remember, we have one or two over here. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I hope the camera stays stable and we're just gonna run and gun. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the plants that are in here in various states of, I don't wanna say neglect because it's not that bad, but you can kind of tell they've been here a while, put it that way. So I think we will start over on this shelf here. We will then progress through to this side. We will probably come over here to these plants and then end over by the door. And hopefully I don't forget the things at the top. Okay, so first things first, we have this wonderful plant shelf with stuff on the top all the way to the bottom. I do tend to not bother putting things on the bottom of my shelves. There's no major reason. I just feel like it's the darkest at the bottom, so I tend not to but I will go from the top down, which is not something I usually do. I do have a little tripod on the bottom of here, so I will be able to lift the camera up a little bit. So up here, we have the first plant I'd like to tell you about. This right here is Anthurium Magnificum Verde, and as you can probably tell, it is wonderful. The difference between this and another typical Magnificum is the veinage. Basically, this one has very, very muted veins. Don't know if you can tell how large this is, I don't even think I can touch it from here because it's so tall, but that should give you an idea of how tall this plant is. It's very, very, very large. Very large indeed. It is one of my favorites. It has suffered recently. Basically during the heat wave, a lot of these plants got sort of, dare I say, nuked. So they're kind of recovering. But he is looking absolutely monstrous. I love him very much. That is him right there. He has this leaf, and I think he has another one at the back over there but that is him now this guy here with a terrible leaf i'm gonna be honest he hasn't done so well at all has he he has this leaf here he has this leaf here which is a little bit more obvious what he is i suppose having said that i don't really know what he is um i think he was sold as a crystallinum but he clearly isn't he's clearly something else he doesn't even look like a proper crystallinum if i show you that there and then I just pan over there to so that crystallinum. You can tell probably that they are not the same thing. So I don't fully know what he is. And he is a bit of a bitch to grow. I'm not going to lie. That's probably why he looks a bit like this. But he's cute and he's doing better than he was, to be honest. That leaf was good for a long, long time and it's just decided to go south. But there you have it. Unnamed Anthurium. Not really sure what he is. Oh, he does have a leaf right there. That's cool. Moving on from that, we have this little guy. If I zoom in on him, he's actually a baby uh, king of Clarinerbium. So that's an Anthurium right there. He's very nice. I do have an older one to show you later on, but he's just looking real cute. He's nearly died about 10 times as well. So he's been brought right up here to live a little better. My Anthurium generally are doing better up here. That's why there's actually so many of them. It's not necessarily my preference to have this many, but they just seem to be doing really well and some of them that were on the brink of death are now coming alive again. So that's why they're up here. Next to that, if anybody remembers what this guy is, 
This is, what is he? He's not an Anthurium Delta Force, but he was sort of presenting like one at the time when I got him last year. So I don't know what he is either, but he's doing very well and he's actually popped, I do think. So he's doing quite well, but again, I can't really tell you much about him. Um, I think behind that we have a Forgetti Eye that's just poking in the back there. Now, if I just zoom out a little bit, this guy here, as you might be able to tell, is a slightly sorry looking Anthurium clarinervium. It's a really good plant, by the way. It's an absolute classic. This one is planted up in some kind of form and it's still alive and it shouldn't be. So if it looks really crap, that's probably why. But if you look up here, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this and I can't tell if my camera's focusing unbelievably well, so my apologies if it is not. But this is a flower that has been successfully pollinated. And I'm pretty sure the seeds are going to be Clarinervium crossed with Anthurium Delta Force. Yes, really, I do have a few seeds um, on the way in this room, which I will get to when we get to them. I'm quite excited about them. We'll see how they go, of course. Not really sure how they're going to go, but hopefully it works. So at the minute, he is pregante with some seeds and hopefully you can actually see them there. I really hope you can. Now he has a new flower in there that hasn't done anything yet, but we're quite happy with him. I think that's it for the top shelf. I would say that's him right there. If you're looking for an easy way to build and run your own website, then look no further than Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop to create your own website from the ground up using a selection of stylish and super customizable templates. It's so quick and easy to edit any one of these templates and make it your own. I don't know if you guys know this, but my website for the Red Plant Shop is actually built from one of these templates. While designing and editing my website, Squarespace allows me to preview what the finished edit looks like on different devices. And this is a really cool feature because what works for a web browser on a laptop doesn't always work for a smartphone. This way I can toggle between different previews and check to make sure my design looks great no matter what device I'm viewing it on. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a web shop like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen, save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it for voiceover, Kaylee. Back to the video. And moving down, we have this little dude. This is my wonderful Anthurium Warraquinum. Now, a lot of people end up seeing this plant and asking me what it is because they don't believe it's a Queen Anthurium, but it actually is. He just presents a little bit differently to the norm. And if I just pan down a little bit, you can see what they normally look like, which is this. He's not looking his best, don't get me wrong, but that's what they kind of normally look like. And I think the main difference is in the lobes. This is a typical Queen Anthurium lobe right here. And then you pan back up to this one and you'll see that their lobes are very different. He's always done this. This isn't environmental. This is just how he is. So I don't know if he's crossed with something else or what. I have no idea, but he's absolutely wonderful. And I love him a lot. I'm very, very happy with him. But yeah, he is different in fairness. These are not, not normal lobes, as you can probably tell. But he's very cute. He's very large. I can just put my hand on him and then hopefully zoom out. Camera doesn't have a particularly wide lens on it. But that's what it looks like when I grab him there. So what else do we have? We have on this side, we have Gus. If anybody wants to know how Gus is doing. Gus is doing okay, as you might be able to tell. He's gone really bushy again. He's just a bit pale, as you can see here. He doesn't really love being in here, but it's fine. He's healthy. He's just not entirely happy with the light. But when I move him into my house and I repot him, he'll be absolutely fine. I'm not even worried about him at all. Next to him, we have a Monstera Siltipicana that is just, well, sort of here. It was a cutting that I put in a while ago, I think. Uh, that's what he looks like now. He's grown down a bit. Yes, he's been left to do his own thing. So that's what he looks like. He just chills there. We have a Maranta No ID here. Um, I can't tell you much about him other than he doesn't have an identification, I don't think. But that's him and he's growing pretty well. He's not silver band, by the way. I do have a silver band. I will show you in a minute. He just chills there. He's doing a little bit better, I think, than this guy. This guy just gets a lot of light from up above, so he's a bit unhappy. Next to that, we have this guy, though. This guy's a little bit special. I won't lie to you. 
This right here is Philodendron Burly Marks Mint. So as you might be able to see, this is a new leaf, so it hasn't fully hardened yet, but you get this kind of minty, frosty sort of vibe. Very, very nice. That's his other leaf right there. They grow exactly the same as a normally Burly Marks, if anyone's wondering. They just are a bit mint, but they're very, very pretty. Again, that is the other Queen Anthurium that I have. If I go down a level, I mean, this guy's got huge, but he's not exactly happy. I think he's missed a watering, you know, because I had to take some leaves off him the other day. You can see here he's looking a bit bald up top, so I need to fix that. Otherwise, he's okay. This is my Maranta Lemon Lime. He looks okay. He looks okay on camera at the minute anyway, but we'll see how he goes. He needs a little bit of attention. Again, he could be happier. He could have higher light, lower light even, but he does not at the moment. Next to that, I have a quite sorry looking pot of Alocasia Renigula Black Velvet, I do think. I'll just show you this here. He's, he's very large, can you tell? Um, so he looks beautiful, and I actually have some Silver Dragon in with him. They flower like no tomorrow, so I should probably do something about that. But at the minute, they just live in there. If I come down a little bit more, this right here is, oh my goodness, I think it's Hoya Parviflora. That just sort of chills here. He, he does get a bit neglected. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, he does. He shouldn't really be living down here, that's a bit silly. But here he is anyway, that's him. Next to an extremely neglected, if I stand back up, Philodendron Golden Dragon Narrow Form. I've been meaning to do something about this for a long time. And it's now got to the point where I have to tie him to the shelves in order for him to stand up. It's, it's not good, I'm not proud of it. But that's him, he's very nice. You like that kind of thing? There you go, that's him. What else do we have in here? If I pan back very briefly, you will see that I have uh, a, a grass, it's not a palm, that I can never remember the damn name of. And I also have an asparagus fern that also nearly died in the heat wave. I kind of forgot about him. But my goodness, he is growing pretty quickly. At one point, he was growing vines all the way up the side of the shelves and all the way up the palm. It was pretty cool to watch. It was kind of like, Trying to run away with itself. But that's him. He could look better, but I tell you what, he's come back fast. I trimmed him down to basically nothing. And he's come back in a few weeks, so I'm actually kind of happy about that. That's done quite well. So yeah, this is the palm here that I can never remember the name of. I will show you the fronds so you can identify it. And again, sorry guys, but if someone can put in the comments what that is, please feel free to because I love it. It's my favorite thing ever. I'm really, really happy with that. Next to that, I'm going to cover this as we go down, but here are some seeds. These seeds, if I just get close to them, these seeds belong to my Anthurium crystallinum, which if I just remove my camera from the Hoya that I'm inside, I'll show you them right here. Well, that's one of his leaves anyway. I think the actual base of the plant is there. So he is producing seeds and these seeds should be Anthurium crystallinum and dark form Forgetii. So that's quite exciting. And they are definitely seeds. They are ready to come off. They need to be sorted out as soon as possible. Oh boy, there's a lot up here. So, okay. So we do have some seeds on this guy here. If I can get my camera there. This is not Clarinervium. I think it's, um, well, we've got on the tag written Lecunera there. But if you notice, it says Cross Delta. And that is because if I could just show you these flowers up here, Sorry guys, I had a bit of an itch. If I could just show you these flowers here, that should be this plant crossed with Anthurium Delta Force. And we absolutely do have seeds coming in. Hopefully that focuses, apologies if it doesn't, but we should have some seeds coming in on that as well. So that's majorly exciting. In front of that, we have the wonderful Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. And I think when I get around the other side, because I've kind of got a chair in my way here, when I get around the other side, I will show you the other side of the plant but that is what he looks like at the minute. He's looking absolutely amazing. I do have a bit of a Monstera issue, if you can't already tell. He's climbing in from the other side of the unit. Uh, at the minute, he just kind of lives here and we deal with it. I'm walking into the table, um, but that's, well, that's him. I don't really know how that's gonna progress. I was kind of hoping he would climb the beams, but I think I'd have to help him out to do that. And I haven't had time. Oh, while I'm here, that's the other side of the Spiritus. He's looking very, very sexy. We like him. Right, so next up, as you might be able to see, and I will stay back for this, my amazing 
philodendron micans look at this guy i cannot tell you how many times i have chopped him it is not funny anymore he just keeps growing i can't stop him and that is actually why if i just show you him up closer at the bottom there he's been cut so many times it's just it's just silly right now it's getting silly i will just pan up and show you him like so he's a little bit bold on the top but he will be okay. I have plans to sort of floof him back out. I took some cuttings and I'm basically gonna, you know, plant them in the top and get him a bit less bold when I move house because he is absolutely coming with me, even though he looks beautiful here. So basically this guy, because he grew so well in here, inspired me to bring one of these in. This is variegated micans and it's growing kind of well. Can you see what's going on? You can't necessarily see what's going on with that one. In fact, I think, is it happy? It's happy enough, but yeah, a bit of a journey with these things, by the way. They're not the most stable things you've ever seen. So that's him there, and that's why he's here. He's here because this guy grows so wonderfully. Moving on from that, I have another Maranta No ID. This is the same as the other one from before. You can tell there because it has the same coloration. I have a few of these. Underneath that, we have the silver band, which if I just pan back up really quickly, show you the pattern on that, get a good look. And then the pattern on that, they are very different. As you can see, this has got a lot more silver, but I must tell you how big this is. That's my hand, right? That's how big this plant is right now. It's just, it's ridiculous. Again, he's been a little bit neglected as well. He needs, he needs sword out. It's, it's a bit much. All he does is flower. All he does is flower. I keep cutting these off. And in fact, I did cut them off a little while ago and they just keep coming back. They won't stop. So. You want to see what a flower looks like. Can't get too close, it's about as close as I can get for you there. That's what the flowers kind of look like. Underneath that, we have an unbelievably pretty Rathodophora tetrasperma variegata. Very, very nice. I'll just pull that there to show you what it kind of looks like. He doesn't normally sit in here, but while I've been tidying up recently, I've put him in there. We'll see how he goes. Again, it's not full light, but should be all right. This here is, oh, Ben actually put this up here. Can you tell? Can you tell by the way it's planted? Basically, it's another variegated micans that we've just sort of slapped up here to see if we can grow it a bit better. Again, given that this guy is so unbelievably ridiculous, it just seemed like a pretty good idea, a good thing to do. Moving up from here, if I just go round, we have, again, we have that spiritus there. We have this thing that's not doing brilliantly. Um, it's doing all right, but it's it could be a lot better. You can see him here. I don't know what he is. I think he's a cross between Luxurians and something else, but I can't remember what. So I'm not gonna tell you anything about him because I literally don't know. Next to him, we have Anthurium Fairchild, I believe. So this is directly from NSC. It's from Enid herself. There it is, very, very beautiful. Not the easiest of growers. I wouldn't say it was particularly quick, but it's nice enough. I'll tell you about this guy pretty quick because he's, oh my goodness, he looks really, really good on camera, does he not? Does he not? Wow. Okay. Um, so this is, it, I think it's like Anthurium Crystallinum Chocolate or something. I mean, I don't really know. I don't think he's a Crystallinum, but whatever he is, he's absolutely hot. This is a new leaf, so it will harden off for the minute. That's what it looks like. I think it looks absolutely incredible. Next to that, we have a Anthurium Vichii. If I just move around my Strelitzia plant, you might get a good look at him. Not the easiest thing to do, but that's one of his leaves. He has a new leaf coming in here, and if I actually zoom in, hopefully you can see he has un flower that is not pollinated yet. It's one of the few flowers that I haven't got to, but that's him up there. Let me just get past that. And on from that, we have my lovely Hoya that I've had for a long time now, guys. I've had it not long after I opened my shop, I don't think. Maybe about a year after or maybe even less. Uh, this is Hoya Carnosa Tricolor. I'm sure it's got a better name than that. And I'm sure you guys have told me that. But for now, I'm calling it that. It's grown pretty well since it's got here. Hasn't flowered, I don't think. Although I thought I saw peduncle. Yeah, okay, maybe it has flowered. I just zoomed down here. You see this? Please focus on it. It doesn't want to focus. That really upsets me. Well, trust me when I say there's a peduncle on there that it just doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to have. 
but he's done really well. He's grown really well since I moved out of my old flat and I've come here. He has been spiraling around the shelves quite a bit and I've had to sort of do this and pull him back because he's desperate, desperate to grow up or down or anywhere really. But that's him. He's looking really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. Very, very, very nice. We're loving him. He's looking great where he is. If I go down from that, you get, oh my God, you get this guy. So this guy right here is the absolutely stunning crystallinum red is what he's known as. He basically has red here on the petiole insertion. And when he comes in, his leaves are like a beautiful berry red, not the same as a normal crystallinum. And if I just show you that there, and then I pan up to the normal crystal and keep them in the same shot, you can actually see there the difference between normal crystallinum and then that guy down there. So there really is a difference. If you want to call it crystallinum dark form, you're welcome to. I'm pretty sure it is known as the red and it's pretty awesome. They are quite rare though and they are quite pricey. But honestly, if I were to tell you whether I thought they were worth it, based on how different they are, I would absolutely say they were worth it. And to be honest, I think they're better than the plain green form, but the green form are very easy to get your hands on. And of course they look beautiful. Anyway, after that, we have, what do we have down here? Oh, bless him. We have an Anthurium Forgetii dark form looking not amazing. He's been neglected a little bit as well. He probably needs a repot. He has pollen on him, but I don't think we've got any luck with him. He is basically what has been crossed with the crystalline seeds to give me, well, hopefully something really good. Above that, because I've just cut him out by accident, this here is a very sad looking King of Clarinervium. That's a bigger one of the one that is up there on the shelf. He's very, very nice. And he has Delta Force pollen on him at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna take. So I'm not counting on anything happening from him. But generally all my Anthurium, since I've been feeding them with my feed, they're all flowering. So I've been able to pollinate them quite well. Pretty happy with that. So we'll see what happens, and I'm sure he'll give me flowers in the future that I can use. But for now, there he is. Now this guy is, is not doing brilliantly, I'm not gonna lie. This was me essentially putting in a boatload of, what is it? Philodendron Cream Splash. Basically I put a ton of cuttings, that's not the same plant. I put a ton of cuttings into a pot and hoped for the best. And I've had a lot of die back, don't get me wrong. I've had a lot of growth as well. They aren't the same as Brazil. They are a bit different, but honestly, really depends what you care about as to whether you think this is worth it. Well, I think they have gone down in price, but the difference between this and a Brazil, if you can't tell, is essentially the cream. Hence we call it cream splash. But honestly, on this specimen, there is actually a lot of just Brazil looking leaves. There's some cream here and that's really pretty. And there's some down here as well. I mean, if you're an avid collector of, you know, vining things, then you might love this. But a lot of people, I hesitate to say, they don't necessarily care about these, but they are very, very nice. This one is, it's had, it's had a better time of life, but he's doing okay. So up from that, since I've kind of snaked up the shelves, this here is my wonderful Cebu Blue Pothos. I don't know its other name other than just Epipremnum Penatum Cebu Blue or whatever. And as you might be able to see, he has grown. He's given me lots of nice vineage. But if I just pop this up there, you'll see how he is. He's, again, he's had better days as well, but he's, he's doing all right. As I say, everything got pretty neglected over the summer. I won't lie to you. But he's doing okay and he's quite big and voluptuous. I basically did the same thing with this guy as I did with this guy. I got a load of cuttings and potted them up. So if you're in the UK and you're thinking how on earth, basically I did a load of cuttings and I, I did it that way because in the UK we can't really get these. Which is crazy because in America I see that nearly everyone can get a full pot of these things. In the UK we kind of can't. We're dealing with cuttings a lot of the time. Maybe that situation's changed a little bit but I don't feel like it has. This one doesn't even look that blue on camera, you know. I promise you it is. It is definitely a Cebu. It just doesn't look very blue. I need a bit more light. Conversely though, this one here is a lot more blue. And if I turn it there, you can see how blue silver it is. This is, I think it's Skindapsis Platinum. And it's very, very pretty. And I really hope it's focusing right now because I can't tell. But this is Skindapsis Platinum and he is absolutely wonderful. 
My gosh, he's a slow grow though. So if you're thinking about getting one, by all means get a cutting, but you know, just be very patient because I think I put this in as a two leaf cutting and the original leaf, again, due to underwatering, that's going. But the rest of them are doing quite nicely. But I think you guys know, or a lot of you know, I've had this thing months, so that's where we're at. They do like to grow vines before leaves, a little bit like what a Hoya does, which is completely different, to be honest, than any of the Epipremnum or Philodendrons, so that's quite interesting. But that's him there, that is Skindapsus Platinum, I do think. I'll just turn him to the light one more time, so you can really get a sense of what colour he actually is. Hang on, he is stuck. There we go. That is Skindapsus Platinum right there. This here is Anthurium Selby Silver. It is a reasonably rare Anthurium. It's almost like a, I don't know if it is officially, but it's kind of like a Dwarf Crystallinum. And it's got a lot more veining on it. And that's him. He's kind of, he's, he's gone a bit berserk if I actually show you in this pot. <laughs> he's just sort of duplicating himself at a rate of knots. I probably will separate him up and put him on the shop floor to sell. Because again, he was only really brought in here in order to recover him, essentially. So he's looking a bit better now. Next to him, this guy is looking a bit crap. I think he's some kind of Anthurium, is it Papalaminum hybrid? I don't think it's full pap. Um, but what I can tell you is, it grows slow. This should be a nice big plant, and I've had it bigger before. I'll show you a bit close up, hopefully it will allow me to. That's kind of what he looks like. I don't fully know what he is, I don't think he's full pap. If you think he is full pap, obviously, and you've got young ones, let me know. But I, I'm pretty sure he is not. I got him in 2020, I think I got him from Indonesia. And I know Indonesia has a lot of hybrids going on, so not really sure. But he is cute, and I do like him. So that, if I stand back, that there concludes this area here. Now I'm going to touch this plant in the middle, and then I'm going to move on to that guy there before we move on to the other side of the room. So this beautiful boy, who I hope you can see well enough, because I realise there are plants behind him, and that's it's not ideal. This here is Anthurium Delta Force. Now there's a lot of people claiming they have this plant, and essentially they don't because this is believed to be a hybrid i believe of uh anthurium clarinervium which is up there and anthurium i think it's like pterodactyl or something like that could be wrong but this plant is the only plant to present this way and this plant is the only one to be called delta force if this makes any sense. I'm butchering this today, guys, sorry. But essentially this plant is a propagation from the original. This is from Marie Nock in the US of Re Gardens. So that is actually a piece of her plant that I acquired. So it is the real deal. It is a real Delta. I do sell them. If anybody is really interested, um, contact me via the shop because I do have one available at the moment. There's a new leaf here coming out, looking very, very pretty, I can't lie. I just pan back this way so you can see more of the plant. I have these two leaves here. He's done quite well and I have had a couple of cuttings off him, but that's not what I'm excited about. Because if you see here, we have a flower and again, hopefully it might focus. Yes, sort of. Um, we have a flower here and not a lot's going on. But then guys, but then, we have a flower here and there is definitely stuff going on. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but certainly up here, there are seeds coming in. I'm not sure you can see it. See if I can hold it and show you it. Can you see it there? There are some seeds coming in on that. Now, I believe this is a self-pollination. So basically, my Delta Force is pregnant with Delta Force seeds. So that's very, very exciting. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that when the seeds, you know, come to fruition, become full plants, it doesn't necessarily mean that the seeds are going to produce plants that look exactly like this. So it's kind of fun to find out, but we're not sure. I'm sure Ben spoke to a collector in the US and they've also produced their own seeds. And I feel like they said a certain percentage of them are true to, um, true to type. I will find out what that percentage is and put it on the screen. But essentially there are a few people that have been doing self pollinations and there is some yield. It's just not, you know, not every plant looks like this, but oh, what a plant though, right? This is a favorite of many and it's very, very beautiful. This is basically the Spiritus Sancti of Anthurium, by the way. Um, obviously, 
the Spiritus Sancti Philodendron would be the Spiritus Sancti. Basically, this is the same thing, but for Anthurium, that's kind of what he is. I'll give one last pan before we move on, because he's absolutely wonderful. Look at this. It's one of the reasons why he's so well loved, his lack of lobe and this amazing pattern and these really cool margins here that you really don't get on much else. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So that's him. I will pan very quickly to this guy. He has a bit of a lean on and he has also been somewhat neglected. But this here is a Strelitzia Nikolai Variegated. I did put one on my channel a couple of weeks ago that is a different type of Strelitzia, but this is a Nikolai, and if I just show you there against the window, I realize the exposure is not great there, but that's what he looks like. He has a number of leaves, and yes, they are crispy because I left the blinds open, and I shouldn't have, but this leaf here has a little bit of variegation on the bottom, a little bit around the margin, and see some leaves there with someone. Generally, he's he's quite a decent specimen. He just needs more love and more light because, as you can see, as you can see, he's not doing as good as he could. He could look a lot better than what he does. So he will be okay, though. Don't don't worry about him too much. He's fine. I may put him in my house. He just really needs repotted. I don't know if you can see how small that pot is compared to him. Eh, it looks alright on camera, but it is quite small. So I need to do something about that. Right. The only thing I've missed off this side is this here, which I will come around and show you really quickly. This is Hoya Bertonii, I believe, and he flowers all the damn time. He has peduncles and the like everywhere. He has one here. He has a couple there. Sorry if it's not focusing, guys. This is a different camera, so I'm really not entirely sure what I'm doing with it. Don't know if I can focus on him there. He, he just has flowers everywhere, essentially. So that's him up there. Up here I have Hoya, is it Dekii? He's pretty cool, he's not doing much, but that's him there anyway. There, there you go, it's the best I can give you right now, so they can rotate around him. That's him, don't have anything else hung up around here, this is all just much of a muchness. Um, so I'm gonna now turn around, and I'm gonna go over here, to a slightly sorry looking corner if I'm honest. But this here is my amazingly large Philodendron UPI. He is quite possibly part of the original UPI that was collected in... I can't remember the year now, but I got this from Barry Schwartz, actually, over in the US, the first time I went to the International Allied Show. So he was telling me, I'm pretty sure he told me anyway, I could be wrong, that it was part of the original UPI that was originally collected, so I have, like, the real deal. Now, not everyone cares about that. I don't particularly care about that, don't get me wrong, a plant's a plant to me, but it's kind of cool to know, is it not? I got a piece of this, and I remember I put it on my Instagram, and it was it was really worse for wear looking, and that's because it was growing up the side of his greenhouse, and it was covered with algae, and I essentially got a bit of a top cut, but he's done so well, and I've had him so long, look at how many leaves he has, it's just ridiculous, he's so large, can you see how large he is? I just put my hand on it there. It's a big plant, guys. It's a really, really big plant. So, as you can probably tell, that's my coffee table that's not small. And that's how big he is. He's a big, big plant. But I love him so much. He probably needs a cut soon, because as you can probably tell, it's, it's getting that way. Now, this guy, I feel so sorry for, because if you think my other plants got neglected, you have no idea. This guy just took a punch. This is my Stromanthi... Trio Star. I don't know why I to think of the name there. And he's crispy as hell, guys. I know that, you know, <laughs> I have this whole thing about sexy and not crispy, but he got neglected to the max, should we just say. He's probably going to come with me to my house, though, uh, where he will not be neglected and he will go really beautiful and nice. So, again, I'm not worried about him. He's absolutely fine. He's just, he's taken a little bit of a punch. You might not be able to tell where the damage is. I don't know. But there is damage, look. There is damage. There is crispy tips. His new growth is going well since he's had some care again. Um, but he, he could be a lot better, put it that way. I have faith, though. I have faith that he'll be absolutely fine. Look at that. Oof. Every time. Yeah, he's okay. He's just... He's looked a lot better. I'll not lie. He's looked a lot better. Right. So, this guy. This guy. Right, let me tell you about this guy. This is Anthurium Luxuriance. And yes, he is actually that good. And yes, he is actually that big. That's my hand there. He's a big boy, right? He's a really, really big boy. So, for some reason, I don't think these plants are very easy to grow. 
right? I, I always struggle. I always get problems. But for whatever reason in here, he did grow terribly. Then he went downstairs for a couple of videos. I think he was filmed for. And then he came back up. And then since he's come back up, he has stayed the most immaculate you have ever seen an anthurium to be. Which makes no sense because the others up here are not like that. And if I actually pan around to the side, you will see this is his older leaf. And there is the tiniest little bit on the bottom of his leaf. But in all this time, he has stayed absolutely perfect throughout the heat wave, throughout literally everything. And I tell you, I do not understand how on earth that has occurred. If you know, if you have any ideas, let me know, because it doesn't make sense to me. But I'll show you him up close, because he's awesome. Look at that. Oh, this is a nice Anthurium. Again, a bit pricey. They have come down a lot, I think, um, but they are a bit pricey. But if you want my opinion, they're worth it, because there's nothing else like them. And if you want to know what they feel like, I don't know what they feel like. Not a real leaf, put it that way. They're really, really beautiful. But I will leave him there, but he, he really is that good, as you can probably tell. He's absolutely beautiful. I don't understand why he looks that good. There's nothing wrong with him at all. Next to him, though, we have this guy who is also very large, by the way. That's me grabbing him there. This is Anthurium Forgetii Dark Form. So basically, he doesn't have all the funky white bits over him. This is a, another version of the guy that was crossed with that um, Crystallinum on the other side of the room there with all the seeds. And he has a flower coming in. I have not done anything with said flower, but never say never. If, you know, the time is right, I will do something with him. But for now, he's up here, just so he can continue to flower. I don't know what it is, guys. Like, everything I feed with my new um, fertilizer that I've got coming out, it just flowers all the time. Like, every anthurium in here, including the difficult ones, they just flower. It's great. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop feeding them, because I don't want this many flowers, because the growth can sometimes change course and then you get smaller leaves and stuff but my goodness they flower a lot right before i go to the corner i'm just going to show you very quickly just get my little tripod on the go i'm going to show you these three hoya here so you've got this one you've got that one over there and you've got this one this one's not looking amazing but this is hoya macrophylla i believe i don't know if it's variegata or this is just classed as macrophylla but it's variegated around the margin there and it was tiny if you remember it was like a three leafer at one point now it's huge. Um, it's not in the, the best of conditions. I've seen a lot better. But he is nice and he just chills here. He needs a little bit more love. He needs a bit more water and a bit more feed. But apart from that, he's good. He's never flowered yet. But I have high hopes. I really do. This guy needs repotted, but I actually love him so much. He does not stop flowering. And it's funny because he doesn't have flowers now, but he usually always does. This here is Hoya Sunrise. And if I just move around a little bit, apologies, you might be able to see the kind of color that he is. He can be very nice. He can go very dark when he's had some sun on him. So I look up here, where is it? These leaves here have a little bit of sun stress on them. The rest of him looks pretty battered. I'm sure we can agree. Um, it's, it's always been that way, if I'm honest. I just have not had the ability to look after it as well as I'd like to. But in terms of peduncles, guys, I don't know if you can tell, but they are literally all over this damn plant. It will not stop flowering. It's been a mad summer for this plant. It's been beautiful. So that's really, really pretty. It's just a shame that he looks a bit gnarly up top. I know why he looks gnarly. Um, essentially, it's the way he's planted up. He's planted in like a giant coconut husk and I haven't taken him out, so... He gets too dry too quickly, um, and I need to repot him, but apart from that, he's okay. After that, we have... what is this? It's either Sigitalis or Sigillatus, I cannot remember. But if you want another defining characteristic, it's sort of like a purpley plum hue to him. Um, try and rotate around him a bit, I can. Can you tell? I mean, this leaf here has a bit of a purple hue. That's kind of how he is. He's just a really weird, stringy looking Hoya, I won't lie. But he's kind of nice and he's kind of big, so I'm quite happy with him. Um, I did want to move, by the way, if anyone's wondering, I did want to move a lot of my Hoya over to my house. However, I'm a little bit concerned about the pollen about and about staining the floor, because I do actually have some stains across my floor. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, no, I have wood flooring in my house, you see. So if anyone wants to give me any pointers for that, please do. 
but I'm under the assumption here that pollen would wreck the floor. So please do give me some feedback on that because I would love to know. Right, this guy here looks crap. He 100% looks crap, he's had a bad time, but he's also been cut from about 20 different times. This here is actually Philodendron Glorious, and I'm sure you've seen this on my channel before a lot bigger. As I say, I've chopped from him a couple of times, so he's had at least two chops, I think, could be three. But here's a chop here, right there, and then he's been chopped again very shortly after, and now he's growing all small, probably because it's winter, but that's him anyway. <laughs> he was a lot more impressive, but he's not now. But hey ho, I will keep chopping from him and keep growing him because he's got a lovely bit of pull there. I'll probably let him go a bit bigger, don't get me wrong, but we'll see how he goes. So, last thing I want to talk about is this guy. I don't know if you can tell, but he's not, he's not up to par, guys. He's really not. And I'm actually going to show you what he looks like on the floor in a minute because it's not good. Um, there's a lot of smaller leaves. He's had a lot of skipped waterings. He's had a lot of skipped feedings. You name it, he's suffered from it. He's had spider mites, like he's had a lot. And I think part of the reason is he's so big, he he doesn't necessarily get the care and maintenance that a lot of other plants can get. So he's got his issues, I will not lie to you. For example, you can see here, this one's finally going. This is one of the original leaves he had when I got him. So that's been going a while. Um, the rest of them do look all right. I mean, they look pretty healthy on camera. They've just gone smaller. As you can probably see here, he's all right. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing too wrong with him. Don't know what he's off. But if you can see here, he has decided to grow two plants from himself. Two plants from himself in two different directions. I do have some drippage on the floor from, honestly, it's like sap from the plant. So there's a warning. If I actually show you down here, you'll see what's happened. And I take full responsibility for this, guys. I honestly do. That new leaf there is looking a bit crap. I'm not happy with that. But if we just take a second to appreciate how bad this is, um, I'm going to have to do something about that. I will take some scissors to him and I will do it in the next month or so. And I'm sure I'll film it and it's not going to be nice. And he will look really crap afterwards, but it needs to be done because he's sort of collapsed on himself. Oh, that's something that happened. He used to be on a bucket. So this pot right here that's got roots on it there used to be on a bucket and essentially the plant got so heavy and it ran out of water it fell off the bucket and this is why we have some of the carnage so it's not neglect in the conventional sense he has had a nasty fall as well which no that's not good but it is what it is at this point so that's him but apart from that though the leaves he has in my opinion at least on camera they look really good um, all of the newest leaves and stuff, they look fine. I mean, minus that one over there, I get that. But these all look absolutely fine, so... He will likely get chopped and propped. Um, and regrown from what he is, because I'm pretty sure he's round form, if that wasn't painfully obvious. Um, not variegation, by the way. Um, I think he's round form, so... He will, he will be redeemed at some point, but it's just not anytime soon, I don't think. But he's nice, isn't he? One more thing before I go, I will show you out here because I feel like people get real upset if I didn't. This is not quite ready to show you yet on a tour, but I will give you the quickest pan around possible. So you've got something to look at. If I just tip downwards, it's not too far down, don't worry. A little bit of pan around. There you go. And there you go. Sneak peek of the wall. Sneak peek of the wall. It will be terrible soon. But not quite yet, I need to wait a little bit longer. I've got some stuff to do this week and then I will film that tour for you guys. But, I'll just stand back. That concludes my tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the update on everything. Oh my god, what am I going to do with him? Can I zoom in on him a little bit? Oh my god, I can! Here we go! Look at the state of him! Oh no! That's really bad, isn't it? But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for watching my tour. And I will get to you with the main tour. Do not worry. But this was always going to be separate anyway because it's just too much of a nightmare to film. So thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see last year's version of my shop, if you are new here and you've never seen it and you think, oh my God, what was all of that? I will leave a link for that in my description 
to last year's tour. Also, I will leave it in one of the cards at the end of this video, so it should be popping up very shortly. Until such time, I guess. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really helps me out. And if you'd like to see any more of my content and you are not already subscribed, then please feel free to do so. That's it from me, guys. That's it from my beautiful plant room, although be it in a state of neglect. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.